Nick speaking and welcome to this video right so I'm going to have a look at flayed ones now I'm going to try and make this a positive video if I can about these guys because they um, they have a lot of negativity about them at the moment and rightly so um, but I am going to try and uh, hopefully throw a bit of a different light on these guys so first up let's get the negative side out of the way so GW produced the new codex and in there there's um, to go with that they produce some brand new flayed one models fantastic. Uh, so we've got new models, sadly, they're fine cast, don't talk to me about fine cast. Um, they're very very expensive, I mean a unit of 10 is um, you're just so much money. Um, and in my opinion the new minis were actually worse than the old ones. So I'm quite happy with my old ones, I really like these little minis, I think they look awesome. Uh, and from a modelling point of view, I've got 10 here, 5 with nothing on their base, five with rocks and crystals on their bases here so I can have two units of five or one unit of ten um, and then going back to what we're talking about um, so yes a brand new codex and you would have thought a new model would mean new rules new good rules but that is not the case I mean, it's very disappointing that they they weren't troops choices um, or at least have the option to unlock them as a troop choice um, so yeah, they maintain in the elite section, and um, you know, with the new sixth edition rules, can't uh, assault from the flank, um, all that sort of stuff. They've just gone downhill in most people's um, opinion. And you can't, you know, they're just basically they're rubbish. But, but we are going to try and turn that around. So from my personal point of view, I love the flayed ones. And I love the flayed ones because it was my first ever unit that I painted that wasn't just silver. I mean, they had all this skin on and blood. And I absolutely loved painting them. Um, so that that was good for me. I mean, that instantly gave me a love for these guys. And those massive claws on the front, front as well, don't they look awesome? Uh, so I really like these. And the other good thing about them is that they are incredibly cheap. So, 13 points. Five of these guys, 65 points. Wow, 65 points for five. And okay, they can't do a great deal, but surely you can spend 65 points for these guys um, at some point. Because they are in the elite section, and there's not really much else in the elite sections. I mean, okay, you've got Triarch Stalkers in there and stuff. Um, but you're not going to be you're not going to be spamming out your elite section very often, and you're going to have 65 points less left. So five of these guys just infiltrate them. I mean, five of these can infiltrate quite easily behind a piece of terrain, and um, you know just hang out there really, cause your opponent a little bit of trouble. That is an option. And, okay, they're not going to kill a great deal, but they're a nice little distraction unit. There's something else that your opponent has to deal with. Obviously, you can have ten of these guys. I wouldn't necessarily infiltrate them with ten, but what I would do is I would flank them. So, hey, Nick, come on, you're going to flank them. And if you flank them, you can't come on and assault from the charge. Well, I know that. But, if you can come on and flank into terrain, or behind a piece of terrain and just wait for a turn. I mean, next turn you can consult, pretty good, and worst case scenario, your opponent's got to look at them and think, oh my god, I've got to get rid of those, and they're going to start shooting them, which means they're not shooting the rest of your army. So that could be a positive thing. Now one combination I've also been trying is with a monolith. So flank them in, um, you know, they may get in a good position, but if they don't get in a position that's um, of any use, you know, on the sides of the board that's good, we can use the monolith porto just to bring them back into the centre of the table, uh, get them into the into the the forefront as as such. So that's potentially another way of using them. But I think the key thing is that they are cheap, and although they they're not that great, I and mean, let's face it, they're not that great, but they are cheap, and. Um, I think they still have a use in your army um, if you can spare the points. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to see these in tournaments, but I'm pretty confident that in a fun game, these will bring a little bit of extra fun to your army. You know, a Necron that doesn't have a gun, 
you know, that's different. And that potentially is um, it's going to be fun to have. Um, and just the fact that you're just putting down these awesome models here. And OK, you can deep strike them in. I think I'd still prefer to infiltrate or flank rather than deep strike. But deep striking is an option if, you, you know, if you're in the mood to deep strike them. But I think flanking is the way to go. But um, yeah, I am struggling to find really positive things to say about these guys, to be fair. But I do want to, to as I said, throw a little bit of positivity about these guys because um, I'd like to see them on the table more, really. And I think just the fact that they are so cheap. I mean, 130 points for 10 of these guys. I mean, so what if they come on and they don't do a great deal? You know, your, your opponent still needs to deal with them. They still have to invest their guns, their assault into these guys to, to move them off uh, the table because they can be a threat. I mean, not an awesome a threat, but, you know, they're reasonable. I mean, they have three attacks, four attacks on the charge. Um, that's not bad, even though, obviously, they're initiative two. They suffer all the usual stuff, initiative two. Uh, only a four plus save. Okay, they've got reanimation protocol, but that's not only a four plus, a five plus now, not a four plus. Um, you know, when the unit's wiped out, no, they can't come back. So you know, there's lots of stuff about them which just doesn't go down very well. But they're cheap, and that is the main thing. So yeah, next time you have, um, you know, 100 points odd to spend. 60 points, 65 points to spend. You're not sure what to do. You're thinking about taking an upgrade. Um, piece of war gear or something, think Nile Asian Barge, you know, maybe have a go with these guys, try them out, because I don't think they're all doom and gloom. Okay, so that's it for these guys, and uh, now we're going to move on to the last Elite's Choice, the Triarch Stalker, which arguably, along with the Death Marks, is probably your best Elite options. Um, so yeah, Triarch Stalker next. <laughs> 